Hey, hey, Angie Fenimore here, and this is Fat Chat with my writing coach. All right, so I want to talk about a system uh, that I use to keep track of what I need to do with my writing and everything else in my life so that it doesn't get insanely crazy with notes. I am known for yellow pads everywhere, okay? But the problem is, is then it's like, I hear is what I even have in here is I was keeping track of the election, serious, and um, where we were with everything, with all the states, all the numbers, and calculating. And then here's one that's just like, you know, all these random things that I need to handle. So here's my keeping track. <laughs> um, so. This is a system that I actually use that is really, really effective. Um, so you start with a steno pad, okay? And you carry this around with you. It's small enough you can just carry it around with you all day long. And you're gonna go through a lot of these if you use this, all right? Um, and everything gets captured as you go through your day. Any thoughts, like um, for example, uh, for Christmas this year, we're doing one family gift. We're getting a kitchen egg mixer okay so i've got on here kitchen aid right here but then later i thought oh here are the colors i'm looking at because i took five minutes to do, to do a little search so it's orange sorbet blue sky green apple that's what i'm deciding upon for my kitchen so i just drew a line to it so that i know that it's the same thing um i also have in here to go back in the queen um, season four, episode seven, there was a line in the first 10 minutes. It was just like fabulous, had a great word. Um, but I didn't have my steno pad with me so that I didn't capture the word. Normally, I just write it down on my steno pad. Um, I need to set up all my fat chats, line them up in one stream so that they just get released every day, right? Um, we've got to sort out Thanksgiving and whether we're just going to do a, a family day, just our little family watching movies and, um, you know, people's favorite foods or we're going to do a Thanksgiving dinner. Um, also I want to hang some pictures in my office, um, because we've recently rearranged. And so I would like for my office to actually be more of an expression of who I am with colors and what I think about what inspires me. Um, because I was in the podcast studio, which was all whites, blacks, and grays, which is lovely. But since I've lost my boardroom, because my husband now has set up his office in the boardroom, that's my primary workspace. And, you know, look around. I like color and I like to, um, <clears throat> I like cozy, right? So I've got that on here, picks for office. And then I jotted down all the people that I want in them. Like I want Amelia Earhart. I want Frida Kahlo. I, I want Malala up there. So, you know, I've got all of these tabs open um, on my computer where I've found, you know, different ones that I like that all, you know, work together well. So I capture it here. Now, here's the point of using this system is then at the end of the day, what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll put that note in the appropriate place. Okay, so for example, on here, I have one, a note that says, go through my chapters one through 10 again. And what's missing is um, sympathy for my main character. And I had a thought while I was falling asleep, jotted it down, oh, insert that she's texting the kids to make sure that they're okay. Okay, that gives us sympathy for, for her out the gate, um, that she'd be concerned with her kids, with what she's dealing with in my opening chapter. Okay, so what you do then is you take each one of these notes and you put it in the appropriate place, okay? And then you cross it off and then you tear this out and you throw it away when you're done. So, like for example, um, you can use uh, Trello, you can use um, Google Calendar, you can use Microsoft OneNote, you can use any combination. I use Momentum Dash for my browser window. You can just look it up, Momentum Dash, and it's just one of those plugins. And it says, like it opens up, it's beautiful. It opens up, greetings, Angie, or whatever, you know, 
you want to call yourself, queen of the universe, whatever it is. Um, and you can write in what your primary goal is so that every time you open up a tab in the morning, there you go, you're going to see, oh yeah, my primary goal was to go through chapters one through 10 and handle this, um, this problem that I have with sympathy for my main character. Okay. So that would go into momentum dash as well as into my, um, my Microsoft OneNote underneath, you know, in the category of what I need to do in the manuscript, what I know that I need to do so that you've captured it in the other places. Like one of my things is, you know, make the car payment. Well, that has a calendar on my calendar payments. So make sure that I do that. And here's the, here's another thing. If something is going to take less than five minutes and it's urgent, just do it. Just do it right then, write it down so you can cross it off and make sure that you got it done, but actually just handle it right then. Okay, so then once it's disseminated and it's captured, then you're not going to forget, oh, I needed to go back. I wanted to go back in the Queen to season four, episode seven, and watch the first 10 minutes so I can get that gorgeous line. And, you know, not like I'm going to use that line, but... Um, but there was a word there that I really loved. Here's another line that I wrote down years ago watching Game of Thrones. Um, and I can't remember their, their names. It's been so long, but it's like early, early, early on in the series. Season one, the mother says, and she's talking about Jon Snow, your ragged little breath. It's just such a great line. Not like I'm ever going to say your ragged little breath, but that inspires me, right? But see, I haven't forgotten that because it got captured on the steno pad and then put into another system so that I'm not going to forget that. Now, another system I use for, um, for writing is I like to write in Shakespeare, S-H-A-X-P-I-R.com. This is a writing system where you, where you can write your manuscript. Um, and so I have different notes there. So I put it there also. This way you can put it in a couple of places where it fits, where you're going to see it again. Cross it off your list when you're done. Throw that paper away and start with, you know, a new page. Um, and this is how all those thoughts and all those ideas don't get, uh, you know, forgotten, squashed out. And, you know, you had, you had the thought and then, you know, you were like, oh, that's so great. I'm not going to forget. And 10 minutes later, you can't even remember what it was at all. Right. Okay. You get me. All right. So there you go. Another thing that I do for calendaring is I create in the day what I'm going to stand for, what I'm going to accomplish, but it's more than that. It's who am I going to, who am I going to be? So that as I do these things on these lists, on my lists, um, I'm standing inside of a bigger uh, commitment. I'm standing inside of a bigger intention. You know, this is why we end our fat chats with, you know, B blank AF, right? And AF, that's my initials too, by the way. So, you know, the idea is to operate from a bigger picture so that you are inspired in your life. And it's not just a list. It's not just like, you know, all these things that I need to accomplish right? And then things get done as well. But not only that, the most important things get done. The things that inspire me get done as well. All right, there you go. So your challenge for today, take it or leave it, is be organized AF. Ciao for now.